in this problem we have uh, a number of chairs and some of them are occupied some of them are not occupied for example in this problem you can see we have seven chairs and there is a person sitting on this one so we will denote it by one this is empty so it's zero 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 denotes empty one denotes someone is sitting four is occupied so it's one then zero then it's also occupied one and it's given that at least uh, one of the chairs will be occupied and at least one of the chairs will be unoccupied and there is a person named Alex he wants to sit on one of the empty chairs and uh, he wants to sit in such a manner that uh, he wants to maximize his distance from his neighbors so uh, Alex can have at max two neighbors so let's say if Alex sits here he will have some right neighbor some left neighbor but if Alex sits on the edge that is the first chair or the last chair he will have just one neighbor and there may be some empty chairs before the neighbor so he wants to keep this, this distance maximum uh, so here this distance is d1 this distance is d2 and another possibility would be that if let's say a chair is empty here so he can sit here also but then this distance will be d1 minus 1 and this will be d2 minus 1 so minimum among those so minimum among all possibilities he has to maximize it so let's take an example then it will be more clear so the same example so if Alex cannot sit here this is already one if Alex sits here then his left neighbor will be at a distance of one right neighbor will be at distance of one two three so left side it's one right side it's three so the closest neighbor is at a distance of one when Alex sits here so let's write one here next Alex can sit here also this is also empty then his next neighbor will be one two distance right will be one two so minimum among these two is two next Alex can sit here right neighbor will be at a distance of one left will be at a distance of three so minimum is one and now cannot sit here but can sit here so here left will be at a distance of one right will be at a distance of one so minimum is one so these are the distances of minimum neighbors for different seating positions so the maximum among these is two so Alex would prefer this one that is it will sit here so how did we arrive at this solution so there are two possibilities Alex can sit this is Alex at the first or last chair we will call it edges Alex can sit at the edges or Alex can sit at some internal chair excluding first and last so when Alex sits at one of the internal edges what should be the solution so, so let's see so first and last are occupied and then we have let's say some zeros in this case we have three zeros so it will always prefer the central one so that its distance is maximized from both of these so for three consecutive zeros followed by ones and then again let's say two consecutive zeros followed by ones and so on so any one occurs then you can think of it at separate uh, sections so for three consecutive zeros nearest neighbor will be the maximum value of nearest neighbor can be two because it will pick this one so it will be one two if it sits here it will be one for four we have let's say this one and then one then uh, it can pick either this one or this one both are equivalent in that case nearest neighbor will be at a distance of two so for four also two three also two when we have two 
then it can take this or this both are equivalent so distance will be 1 and similarly for 1 0 if it sits here distance will be 1 so you see that 1 2 it's 1 3 4 it's 2 5 6 it will be 3 so it will be this whatever is n n plus 1 divided by 2 the floor of this integral value so this was the case when Alex sits on one of the internal chairs and next when Alex sits on the edges then we have let's take the same example or let's take a different example where we have a zeros at the edges and some sequence so let's say uh, maximum of internal chairs is let's say we have four zeros somewhere then one zero one something like this so its value will be two so if it sits here or here its value will be two but uh, it will not pick these because Alex can sit here at the edge and its distance there is no left neighbor and the only neighbor that is present is this one at a distance of 3 so 1 2 3 so if Alex sits decides to take the first chair its distance will be same as the number of consecutive zeros so 3 in this case and another possibility would be that like this one let's say this one in this case Alex will pick this one because sitting anywhere will be closer to its neighbor so it will pick this one its distance will be one two three so in this case if you its equivalent case just you traverse from the right so you keep track of the leftmost one and there will be at least one chair occupied that's given so we keep track of the leftmost one so leftmost one is at position 0 1 2 3 and rightmost one in this case is at position 0 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 6 7 so we have 8 chairs rightmost one is at distance of 4 so here it will be 8 minus 4 minus 1 so we take the minimum of two scenarios edges and internal chairs and we have to take the maximum of these for internal the value was n plus 1 by 2 for edges we have two values begin and end for begin it will be leftmost one position so let's call it idx1 this and rightmost one position so n minus 1 minus let's call it idx2 this value so we have to take the maximum of these three so instead of n let's call it k number of consecutive zeros three consecutive zeros two consecutive zeros uh, sorry four consecutive zeros one consecutive zeros so whatever is maximum in that value of k so take the max of these three and we will get the answer we have considered all the scenarios so what would be the time complexity we have to scan this array from left to right and then while keeping while traversing it in the one go itself we keep track of the leftmost one and rightmost one so how we will do it so we know that at least one of the positions is occupied so we will have a valid index for idx1 and 2 so we can initialize it with minus 1 which is invalid index and first time we encounter one we make it that value i and then we never change it similarly 
write we always update whenever we get one we update idx2 so last time it will be updated at the last one so using that we can calculate these three values so let's quickly write the code for that So here empty is the current number of empty chairs that is consecutive zeros whenever we encounter one we reset it So when we encounter one that is occupied, we reset the number of consecutive empty to zero and if idx1 is equal to minus one, then we update it and we never touch it again. idx2 we always update so that it will keep track of the rightmost one and if it's not one that is it's zero then empty plus plus and result equal to max of result and empty plus 1 divided by 2 so this is for internal chairs and finally we have to consider the external also the two cases so result equal to max of Uh, three values one is the result itself which contains the internal maximum then idx1 and n minus 1 minus idx2 and finally we return it and let's see So for this case answer is correct. Let's pick example where it's sitting on the edges that is one followed by three zeros. And then we had one zero and then let's have zero one. and our solution matches so hopefully we have covered all the cases and the solution is accepted and we are right here so it's not bad it's on the higher end only now we will do it in java and python so not much change is required same logic we will carry forward and there is not too much difference in the syntax also here and what else 
this should be math.max and again and it takes only two values so we will need to do it twice and let's see if it works yes it does and the java solution is also accepted finally we will do it in python 3 And the Python solution is also accepted.